Sports United and Boxing News from the Capital City here with Eddie Hearn. Ed, we just had the press conference from Cushing Bank Junior Adams White and O'Sullivan. No head to head at the end. Was that saying? Always disappointed as a promoter, but I think I'm sure Spike had his uh, ideas in terms of what he wanted to do. Um, and probably quite smart from Junior because at our last fight he grabbed the opponent and kissed him on the on the lips. So you know, we'll see one at the final press conference and, and maybe at the weigh-in. So uh, I think it's nothing unusual. I don't think he had, did a head-to-head -head for the, the uh, Saunders first press Refused conference. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So yeah. it's OK. Um, the fight's happening and we're going to see a great fight on the 12th. Every now and again you get a, a card that just rockets. Mm. And, and this one, as you said, sold out in, what, five, six yeah, hours? Yeah, um, Only with the Joshua and Dylan White fight. So yeah, with no one. No, no, and, um, you know, I think... I, it's 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 the best card we've ever put on. It's the most and it will be the most anticipated card we've ever put on, and there'll be the most rivalries because you know the two big fights on the card, Dylan White against Joshua and Spike against Eubank, are going to create massive column inches. But they're really good fights and they're really important fights in the division. You know, Eubank against Spike Osama. It's not some bloke who at once his dad was a world champion once. It is a fight final eliminator for the, for the world title. The winner fights the winner of Jacob Squillard. So it's very important to the division and very important to both fighters. The thing that I, I think the public are maybe overlooking at the minute and maybe unaware of is that Spike O'Sullivan is actually 31 years of age. Mm. So these sort of shocks yeah, and... No, listen, and he's getting a huge payday and good luck to him. And he's there to win the fight. He ain't there to turn up and get beat by Chris Eubank Jr. He's desperate to win. But that's why I've paid him so well. Because I know what kind of fight it will be. And I know what he'll bring to the table in and out of the ring. And, and that's, you know, those things are very, very important in and out of the ring. Because... Big fights are great, but big fights with this kind of attention and this kind of animosity are even better, especially for a promoter. So, you know, we're going to take them to Sky now, they're going to do gloves are off and a few other bits, and it's going to be exciting. As a promoter, was this, was this fight easy to put together? They both, or was it, it, I saw people on Twitter saying, oh, Eubank Jr. didn't want the fight. He, this is the fight he asked for. You know, I speak to Pascal Collins a lot, and he said, yeah, we want the fight 100%. They asked for much too much money, I gave it to them, and then the fight was made. It was very simple. Eubank Jr. will fight anyone, anyone. And that's why they talk about Golovkin, they're not joking. You know, whether it's too early for him or not, they will fight him, and not many will. So, you know, fans should embrace that really, but you know, this is a fight, Eubank didn't really need to fight Sparko Sullivan. You know, it's like, it's a tough fight. You remember a big puncher who is on a massive roll and very confident. But the question was, I can make Spike O'Sullivan fight. Like, do you want it? Yes, please. Done. You know, so, and it's good to work with people like that. Most definitely, and as they touched on there, both both men, the the world words on social media yeah. now, it just seems to be, it, it does our sport so many favours. Yeah. You know, there is no, it, people say what they want to say. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You can take it a certain way, but would you say now that boxing's getting back to to where it needs to be. Yeah. Well, it's get, social media is enabling boxing to move into the mainstream without effectively a terrestrial broadcaster that, that can take it straight to the mainstream. So social media is playing a very important role. Um, but the buzz for boxing, oh, the, the buzz for boxing is, is back. But the bugs for boxing is back because of fights like this, you know, where you can really get behind the story. I mean, you've got the guy who beat Chris Eubank, in one corner, Chris Eubank Senior, mm -hmm. and you got Chris Eubank Senior in another corner. You know, you've got Adam Booth and Pascal Collins. You got Ronnie Davis, and it, it's got everything. You know, so it's a, it's a, it's a dream match out of it. But it's a really good fight. You know, it's not a fight that's just hype and it'll build over in two rounds. This is a fight that you know, it's a close fight. Eubank's a favourite. But this is a really, really good fight. I like the flavour to that that Steve Collins added, mm. saying, and sorry, Pascal was saying, listen, we, we, we don't go into this thinking, we go yeah. in knowing. We beat, we the beat him twice. I know, I know, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's a good line, it. you know, it's Brilliant. a good line. Yeah. So, so was a yeah, newspaper, yeah, of course, that, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but it's true, they think they've got the beating on them. Mm. But Eubank, you know, Eubank, the difference between the two, from what I could see and, and you know, from what I knew growing up, is that Eubank Jr. lives and breathes the sport of boxing. Um, he is never at the gym. It's all he cares about. And the dad wasn't like that. You know, he loved the lifestyle, he loved the publicity. He wasn't the hardest trainer of all time, but he was as tough as they come. 
and he didn't have as much natural ability as Chris Eubank Jr. But he had other assets, like his tenaciousness, like his toughness, like his chin, that enabled him to, to achieve what he achieved. If Eubank Jr. has got the dad's attributes and all these other attributes that he's got on top, he is going to be a real, real player in the division and, and in world boxing. Um, but these are kind of key fights that you could, you could lose this fight easy because you bench. Like it wouldn't if he lost this fight, it wouldn't be the greatest shock of all time. But if he wins this fight and he wins it in style, then he makes a big statement. You know the magnitude of a uh, a card when you're holding press conferences for you know chief support. Yeah, yeah. You've had one last week. Yeah. Next week, as I understand it, we've got you know Frampton, Frampton yeah, Quick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Belfast, Manchester, yeah, London. Yeah. I mean, as a promoter, Ed, you 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 know people say you were given a silver spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You answer as you turn that gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. how, how does that I feel? Think, yeah, I mean, look, we just, there's so much going on. We kind of just get up and go every day, you know, so I don't really get a chance to think about it, but you know, as a promoter when you walk through the, the entrance of the press conference and you see all the cameras, that's when you know you've got a big fight. And nothing tells you more than that picture when you walk in. You know, if it's Sky and, you know, you and Coog and, you know, three other people and PT boxing down there, you know, you sort of go, this ain't that big. And then you turn up, I mean, Dylan White against Joshua, you know, you look in the room and it's like, Imagine that on fight week. I mean, you know, we're only touching the surface right now. So they don't, you know, the attention doesn't just come for any old fight. It just so happens that, particularly in the back half of this year, there's some huge fights getting made and fights that a lot of people are interested in. So I'm sure there'll be other shows where they're not so interested, but it's very pleasing to see people turn out. But people turn out when there's something to turn out for, when there's a story. Now, these journalists are here because they want to get the line, and they got one you know, from Pascal. We know how to beat the Eubanks. Now you've got the dad going into the jungle, ITV phone up, we want to run this whole press conference tonight on the news. You know, So Eubank will be in the jungle talking about his son the whole time. You know, When he comes back for the fight, it will just be, you know, it's going to be a, a circus, this show. But it's a quality circus. It ain't a circus that you go in and pay four quid for them and it's a bloke jug juggling balls dropping them all over the floor. This is Cirque the Soleil circus stuff. Understand? So, and, and you've got to have the quality. You've got to. And this, this is what this has got. Eddie thank you for your time. I'm going to use that line again. Oh, what that, sir? Sir.